That is where we left it on Friday, where the police came in and arrested him for GBH on Shona, who was his previous girlfriend, victim, yeah. um, also for causing sexual exploitation of a child, which is you. At that point, she still insists that he's done nothing wrong, which only goes to the depths of this control that he has over her. Yeah, she's completely under his spell. You know, he's so manipulative and it's going to take a really long time for her to realise what's actually happened to her. And I think it's going to take her to realise it on her own as well. I, I think all of her family are going to tell her and people are going to tell her, but she's not going to know the real extent of what's happened to her until she realises that on her own. You were yeah. quite daunted by this story, weren't you, when it first came your way? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I've only been in the show for two years, so it's, it's, a, it's a big responsibility, you know, because obviously people go through things like this, and I know personally because I've, I've met quite a a lot of those people so yeah it was quite daunting but once I realized how important this storyline was I just really wanted to do it justice for all the survivors especially that I've spoken to mm. well you'd think that this would be the end of the story now he's arrested but mm -hmm. it's gonna take another sinister turn but and... Neil uh, Nathan's friend mm -hmm. who's a policeman yeah. is part of the ring yeah he is yeah which um, I think obviously is quite a shocking turn in the story but for viewers I think it's important for people to keep watching the story because they they will get their comeuppance eventually they will do they have to they have really. to so now now she's possibly gonna disappear with him yeah she's got to go and find a passport yeah, so um, Nathan, um, in that clip that you just saw there, is going to tell her to tell her family that they've split up, even though they haven't, so she's going to lie and say that they've split up with each other, and he has t is telling her to get a passport and he's going to take her away. So for Bethany, that's quite exciting, because she, when she's with Nathan, she feels like an adult, you know, they're engaged, they're going to get married, and they're now going to move away together. Really so for her, that's exciting. Um, but really, what he wants to do is uh, sell her um, in another country. Country. And I guess the, the problem for her must be that she, she must feel slightly like if she doesn't go with him, then she goes back to her other life, which is yeah. just being a child and living at home, and exactly. she feels like she's moved on so much and become an adult. Yeah, yeah so if she stays with the Platts, she's going to be treated like a child again, um, which isn't what she wants, and, and she's got such... Uh, Nathan has got such a big hold over her that she... And he's separated her so much from her family that she only wants to be with him. She doesn't want to be with her family at all. It's, um... It's a tough watch, yeah. and I think that Ofcom got quite a few complaints. Yeah. Um, and uh, and Corrie were quite, you know, sort of quite robust in their uh, in their response to that. Uh, they said, uh, Coronation Street viewers will be aware that Evil Nathan has been grooming vulnerable Bethany for many months. It's an extremely complex and thought-provoking story which has been meticulously researched, hasn't been undertaken lightly by the programme's production team. In accordance with strict compliance regulations, what happens to Bethany was intentionally implicit, and viewers were warned prior to transmission. For you, though, um, you were, I think, at a, 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 you were at the um, vigil for the terror attacks mm -hmm. victims, weren't yeah. you, in Manchester the other day? And did a lady come up and talk to you? Yeah. So it, obviously, it was it was really emotional anyway when when we were there, and, and I was already really upset. And a lady came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder and said, "Can I whisper something to you?" And I thought she was just going to say, like, "Oh, I really love Corrie. Um And she was like, "I just want to say that I was abused by my dad when I was younger, so I really appreciate what Corrie is doing," um, which is so. Obviously, it's so emotional to hear, but for when, when people say things like that to you, I think it, that kind of just shows to the people that are complaining that this is so important for people that have gone through this and are still going through this. Yeah. Your, yeah, boyfriend, your boyfriend finds it quite hard to watch. He does. Tom, he, watched it. he watched it last week, actually, which is probably the worst Hardest episode to watch. <laughs> yeah. he could watch. But, um, yeah, he did watch it, um, obviously, kind of behind a cushion. But, um, mm. yeah, he, he kind of en not enjoyed it, but he's not seen it for a while, so he... he was really supportive and yeah. yeah and obviously every time an episode like this airs all those helplines that you put online that we do they all get lots of people oh, calling yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that makes it so worthwhile yeah then. it's so worthwhile and I've spoken to so many survivors who have said you know that it's it's that we're doing it justice uh, yeah. this storyline so yeah I um I, well, we won't spoil it now you got nominated for um for a soap award mm -hmm. uh, which the show was on um, Saturday night goes out tomorrow night on on ITV um how was your Night. It was it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was did you really have a nice good. time? I did a bit too much of a nice time. No, I think. did you? A little bit. Were I, there any pictures uh, taken of you? Oh, there's you. Oh, there's a lovely one. Oh, like, a, like a princess. <laughs> That's you. a beauty. What about what about the end of the evening? Oh. <laughs> 
Thank you I'm for that. The best picture ever. <laughs> Listen, we have all been there. So. Yeah. I, I had a very, very sore head yesterday. I didn't really move. We just we went back to work because obviously it was Manchester and I live in Blackpool. And I just sat in the green room all day and ate a KFC. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Anything to get through. Yeah, exactly. Anyone, You've got to mark those occasions. Yeah. Anyone who's ever been to those awards knows exactly what it's going to be like yeah, the next exactly. day. Exactly. Well, it's thank you. lovely to see you. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank we'll watch so where much. this storyline yeah, goes. Corey's